got a baseline or a table. The baseline is a little bit harder to understand. Um, if you wanted to do this version of it, I would recommend calling in and we can physically walk you through it or log on and show you all the main differences in it because there's just so many complex options with setting it up this way that it's kind of difficult to understand without seeing what you want to do and then telling you how to do that. Um, so we tell people just as a tutorial, we just set it up as a table and then we're going to define all of our table parameters and it's, it's really easy to understand it better that way. So we go to our setting our table. This right here is what size lettering do we want? So it's in inches. You see it's 0.3937. That's the default. When you click the next, you'll see here is the actual setting in the table. Where do we want the table to start? And here's all your options. Do you want it in the top left, center, you know, anything, vice versa? So typically your default is going to be your top left because that's the easiest to understand. So let's say that we've got, we want something simple. We want three rows and we just want two columns. And we know we've got an 8 by 12 area, so let's say that the frame width, let's do 10 inches, and we want our frame height to be 5 inches. You'll see that it'll automatically default to fit it perfectly in the parameters of whatever you have set up for your outside job. So in this instance, here's 10 for our frame, since we only have two columns, it already makes them five inches, so they're perfectly the same width. Here in our height, five, we keep the, the cell height exactly the same. How do you want the text aligned within those columns is right here. And then within the cell, within each one of these cells, so three rows, two columns, what, here's your compression that you guys just saw Tim do. What percentage of the show do you want your margin to be? And what percentage of the margin do you want to be from each cell's cutting axis, you could say. If you go to the, so once we have that set up, we just go to the next screen. And here's where you can choose how you want this cut out. Um, we can kill two birds with one stone here. Uh, a person asked, how come sometimes in their matrix they don't get one of the, you know, the vertical lines aren't getting cut out. In this instance, these are our vertical lines. And you have to have the cutting grid on. See, once I turn it off, it says, okay, I'm not going to cut anything out. But if I turn on, I want all of the boundaries cut, I have to pick my cutting tool. And the default cutting tool in Gravograph is the final tool. Because in Gravograph, in, in Gravistyle, the tools go in order. So black's the default color for inscription, so we're going to write in black, and then all these other colors can have different properties. So in this instance, I know that tool 9 is the default cutting tool. So what that means is my inscription will be in black, so it'll do black first, and then it goes right down the row to tool 9, and in this instance, all of these lines will be tool 9. So it'll engrave the inscription on all my cells, come back after, and physically cut out as you can see, that was my grid, two columns with three rows. If we go into text mode, here's our text. So you'll remember we wanted our bottom boundary of our letters to just be a fraction of an inch. So that's what this is. Here is your boundary. And we had a margin of 15%. So here's our margins on the bottom and on the sides. So now you can just simply type in whatever you want. And remember, because it's going to engrave your inscriptions and then come back and cut out this. So you can pretty much move this wherever you would like. Um, you know, set it up however you want to. But that's how you're going to do, you know, a column format. Just do a table and tell the table what, how you want to do it. Because that baseline is pretty complicated. Um, but if you do want to do the baseline, you're interested in it, just call in here. We can walk you through.